All right, let's talk about removing uh, rear seals. So this rear seals on a CAT 3304 has already been removed. And so we can see the gap here between the flywheel housing and the crankshaft. Now on the crankshaft itself, and you can see just a little bit of a, on the ledge there, and I'll just try and zoom in a bit so we can see that a little bit better. But right here, we can see a small ring. You can see the shine right there. And what that ring is, that ring is the wear band that comes with a replacement rear seal. And so if we take a look at a new rear seal, this is the rear seal assembly for this engine, we can see the seal actually comes with a new wear band. But before we go to install the new seal with the new wear band, we have to actually remove the old one. And so a technique that works well to do that is using a piece of square stock like this. We can fit that square stock between our flywheel housing and our crankshaft. And what we can do is use a wrench and turn the square stock. And what that's going to do is bite in to the wear band. And as it bites into it, it's going to deform it. And as it deforms it, it's going to elongate it, which is going to make it loose on the crankshaft itself. Now, when we do this, what's really helpful is for us to use a sacrificial layer on the side where our flywheel housing would be. And so I'm going to just demonstrate this. I'm going to put that piece uh, in place. Let's just rotate the camera just a little bit so I can show it to you a little bit easier. And we're going to put that just against the flywheel housing. We're going to fit the square stock just beside it and I'm going to give this a turn. Now as I turn it using a wrench, just rotating the square stock in place, what it's actually gonna do is bite in and put a dent in that wear band. Now what that looks like it, as we finish up is we can see this wear band that's been removed off of one of the other engines in the shop is you can see all the bite marks that have been made on this wear band and you keep making those marks until the wear sleeve itself starts to move on the crankshaft and when that happens you can either rotate it off or grab a seal pick from behind and just sort of work it back off the crankshaft towards you and this is a an easy non-destructive method to the flywheel housing into the crankshaft a very low risk way of getting that wear sleeve off that way you are ready to reinstall the new seal with the new wear band. Of course, you'll clean up the surface with some Scotch-Brite pad, not removing a lot of material, but simply cleaning it up so that we're ready to install, following the service manual about what to put on the seal, if anything, upon install. A good reminder for us is that if we get a seal such as this, where we have a multi-piece, whether it's a plastic ring or a metal sealing ring or a wear band right here, it's important that we do not separate these before install. We leave them together until we install the seal.